you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. What's happening, everyone? Kenan here, and I just thought I'd do another Ask Camp Kenan. You know, it's Saturday. We got to get things going. And today's question comes from Bridget Bryant, and she asks, what can she do to get her young redfoot tortoises eating their greens? It turns out they're eating a lot of fruit, and they're kind of addicted to it. Uh, so she wants to know how to transfer them or get them to eat their greens, and that's always a tough thing to get the young ones to eat greens, isn't it? Whether it's human or reptilian. Uh, I would suggest this, um, you know, what I've always done is I tend to not feed too much uh, fruit, um, even with species like the redfoots that are over here, who are uh, definitely able to eat some fruit. Uh, you still want to kind of keep their diet 80% of the greens, leafy greens, leaves, uh, different veggies like that, because uh, in the wild they're going to eat a lot of weeds, and fruit's kind of a seasonal item. Uh, it's not always available to them if it's not in season. So you're going to want to make sure that you uh, try and mimic nature in that way by doing the 80-20, 80% 80, 80 greens, 20% on uh, the fruit. I uh, just got to slow down with it. Just stop feeding them fruit. So what I do is, you know, you can kind of reduce their intake of fruit, mix it in with the greens, sometimes even chopping it up real fine and then mixing it in the fruit. Uh, and then little by little, you're going to remove the fruit from the diet and you're going to get them to eat the greens. Now, another thing you can do as they all come marching out to see what's going on here. I actually didn't bring them any food, so uh, that's kind of a bummer. They're all going to come out and surround me and I have nothing to give them. I'll have to remedy that in a moment after I get done with this Ask Cam Cannon video. But uh, in the meantime, enjoy the view and I'll keep telling you how to get your tortoises off of the fruit and onto the greens. Now, uh, like I said, you wanna just kind of remove the fruit a little at a time. And this could sometimes take a few months for them to start to kind of get weaned off of it or onto less of it. What you basically have are spoiled children. And you know what we do with spoiled children? We send them to bed without their dinner. So you can actually do that. You're not gonna starve those tortoises. They can go for up to two weeks without eating. Uh, if they have a good weight, uh, sometimes even longer in the wild if they had to. Uh, but what you want to do, um, in addition to, you know, if it doesn't work out that you have been weaning them off or lessening the fruit, if they're still being stubborn, uh, sometimes I'll just stop feeding them and keep offering the greens. And eventually what happens is they just basically get hungry enough and they start to try different foods and they start to realize that this tastes good and it's a lot better uh, than they thought. So they'll do it that way. So I would like you to try that there, Miss Bryant, and that should work out, Bridget. You just wanna kind of, you know, try weaning them off by feeding them less and less. <clears throat> if all else fails, stop feeding them for a few days. And when they get good and hungry, they're gonna wind up eating the right kind of foods, even if it may even be the green pants that I'm wearing right here. Yeah, watch, there you go. I knew it, I knew it, lunatic. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, that's me, man, that's my pants. What are you doing? Ow, that actually got my hairs. Good grief, little knucklehead. So as you can see, mine love anything green, even green khakis. Oh my God, I don't even know if it's green to be honest with you, I'm kind of colorblind. It looks green, but I'm sure Kate would tell me that they're khaki. Uh, but this tortoise, loves anything green oh gosh she's removing the hairs on my leg uh well listen i hope that helps out i need to get these critters something green that isn't my pants to eat and uh well you know you try the same uh wish you the best of luck i'm sure they'll be fine so get those young redfoot tortoises onto some collard greens romaine greens you can even feed them turnip greens uh string beans every once in a while you can also do yellow squash, which is a better alternative. It's a nice bright food that looks like a fruit, but it's got some more vitamins that they need, like vitamin A and uh, shredded carrots and stuff like that. Remember, the fruits are going to be just a treat, even for the redfoots. You don't want to feed it all the time. All right, everyone, there's a bit of an Ask Camp Kenan. 
little five minutes of knowledge there for you. I hope you had a good time. Don't forget to subscribe to the Camp Kennan channel below and uh, to also, good grief, this tortoise is just nuts. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and uh, also go to the Camp Kennan Army so you can submit your own question and I'll answer it live on the Camp Kennan channel. You gonna bite my fingers? These guys are attack tortoises. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get away from the tortoise. Yeah, I always say if you can't get away from a tortoise, you deserve to get bit. All right, everyone, I'm goofing around. See you later.